All right, in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the, the white pitcher over here. So again, I kind of already started a little bit. So again, I have my reference image in front of me. I have it up here up in front of me so I can always look back and forth at it close to me. And so then we're gonna paint this guy. So this guy's gonna be kind of hard. Um, it's white, but can't just be like completely white, obviously. So then we have, let me bring it down. And then, then there's all these dark values over here, these shadows. And then there's light reflecting from the windows, so it's kind of blue. And it's almost like there's a little bit of like a pink here almost that I see. And then this is the white, there's blue up here, and then I'm gonna have to make this really dark value in several spots. And then there's more white and a little bit of pink. But it's depending on how you see yours, you may see a little bit of cream or a little bit of yellow in your picture. Um, and then it depends on the lighting of what was happening when I was actually taking all the pictures. So, so what I kind of started over here on the left is I kind of was starting to put in my shadows, my really dark values. And I was using um, phthalo blue and raw umber to get a really nice dark value. And again, I kind of played around with my colors on another sheet to kind of, you know, re-familiarize myself with mixing of the colors. So you probably are going to want to do something like that because you don't want to like just totally be guessing as you're painting on your canvas. Um, so you kind of want to play around and mix some of these colors off to the side that are in your picture, off to the side and kind of see how to make some of them before you go to actual painting. So again, I like to start with my darker values first. So I'm using again this raw umber and this phthalo blue to get that really nice dark value happening. This really nice shadow. Just kind of completely merge. Gotta look at that shape of the shadow. I can't just do just like a random shape. I still have to pay attention to what it's doing and how it's on my picture, where it's coming out of my ornament. Hopefully you sketched it on there correctly. But if not, you can fix it obviously with paint. I'm trying to get as close to my ornament as possible but without ruining my ornament that I did the other day. So I'm kind of coming in and I'm just putting in these hard values and these, these shadows that I'm doing right now, they're not things that need to be blended with anything else. They kind of have these hard lines around them or these hard shapes. So that's why I'm not worrying about trying to bring in other colors at the moment or other brushes because these are just kind of like put there. You don't have to really blend with too much else entirely. We'll get into that in a minute. It's like this up here has to blend with like this lighter blue. I'm gonna have to bring in another brush here quickly. So I can see what I'm doing. Or this layer that I have. Right, so I'm gonna bring in another brush. It's kind of like a soft, icy blue. So I'm gonna kind of use a cobalt blue, some white, maybe a little bit of phthalo blue to kind of get it a little bit, a little bit deeper. Then we need to come back. 
Let me get my thermometer. Trying out. No more than I would like. So then I needed to come back and kind of make sure those two soften together. Again, you want to make sure if you have a brush that has nothing on it, okay, that will be like your blender. That'll really help. Probably come back. Okay, so let's kind of keep going over here. I have all my brushes. So it's kind of like it's almost, I'm looking at my picture, it's like pinkish down here. Let's see here. I'm going to kind of use, when I think about what I have on my brush, I have like this icy blue reflection that's over here. I also kind of need to fix the shape of my picture a little bit. And so that, I'm going to blend the dark value, if I can get it made real quick. That raw umber and pale blue. That might be a little too dark. I'm going to have to soften that in a minute. It's a little too drastic. So then I'm going to come back and try to use that other brush to kind of merge those two together. And I want to kind of create this nice line of shadow right here. Bottom of my little picture seems like it's kind of pinkish brownish color. So I'm going to mix like bright red with um, burnt sienna and a little bit of white. Just mix with that in. It's only like a pinkish color that I kind of want. Now, I feel like that's too much, but that's okay. So then I can come back real quick. Soften that down because I just need a little bit, a little bit poking through. So I kind of like brought back a little bit of white and overlaid it. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of like this little bit of icy blue reflection just right there. And luckily, I still had some more paint left on my brush, so I was able to kind of put it on there and kind of blend it with that dark value. Again, sometimes your hand 
brush. And your fingers. And sometimes when you come in, you have a little pain. And I need to start softening that. I think I'm going to add some more of this soft pink color and I'm totally running out. I'm going to make that look like heart sienna. I'm going to light in my bright red. I feel like I need it here because I can see a little bit of this reflecting from somewhere. And so yeah, right now it's like pretty powerful. It's pretty very prominent. And I'm going to soften that here in a second with holding my pen brushes to breathe. Okay, with I need to soften these to get them to blend together. See how I'm kind of using my brush? And I kind of want to start pulling it horizontally to go with the form of my picture. Obviously, you'll be able to move your canvas and get your arm at a better angle. I can't do that right now, so that's kind of really frustrating that I can't get it. So I added that paint and now I'm trying to like soften that again for those two blend. It's still too much. I'm not a fan, but can't get I like to use my finger to kind of rough it up so it's not such a drastic. Bring in some dark. I'm not blending or softening as I would like because I want these two colors to soften more into one another. That pink is just a little too much. Now I'm like using just strictly white to really clean up and try to get it crisp. And white. I'm adding those because I'm happy with what's happening over there. So that means I wanted to put in like a little bit of glare or highlight really quick. So that's what that is right there. I was happy with what was going over there. So I just went ahead and put that in. I 
right, so now we just we should keep cleaning this up. Definitely need more. Oh, I see blue color. Can I get this out? I need to fix the shape of this even too. I need to do that with the paint. See what's happening. Can't do too much. Do the shape of where these things come at. I forgot about my shadow down here. Help. Oh. Shoot. I got excited that I was almost done. Help me out.
between more of the blue down there now that I keep looking at it. And there's this weird. I'm going to look at kind of all these different shapes of all these colors that I have in here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to call that done for now.